Center. As you know, we're older, retired individuals. Many of us travel up north for the summer, the snowbirds. The snowbirds, of course, I think deliberately do that to miss the hurricane season. <laughs> but we keep in contact with those snowbirds every day. So if there was an emergency and we had to pass traffic and uh, information to relatives who were up north, we could get on our high frequency radios, talk to those individuals, the uh, snowbirds up north, who would then relay the message, say, over to uh, uh, your daughter in New York City. Well, w we live here full time, but we did take off the entire month of August and run north to miss the heat. I want you to know all those people that are talking about going north to miss the heat, it was hotter up there than it was down here. Yes, I can imagine so. Bill? There seems to be an awful lot of retirees in this program. Are there ways that young people, let's say that people are watching this program now who are like in school, things like that, are there programs going, we're just about out of time, but are there programs to bring younger people into this? Yes, there are. As you can imagine, with the advent of the internet and cell phone technology, interest in amateur radio fell off quite significantly. It has picked up since 9-11. People now understand uh, the need for radio communications in an emergency. Many people have joined community emergency response teams trained by your local fire department. And those individuals are also getting their amateur radio operator's license. And of course, we have programs with the Boy Scouts and at local schools. And one of the key ways to interest people is uh, our astronauts on the space shuttle are all amateur radio operators and they make a point to target schools in the United States and around the oh, world as cool. they pass overhead to talk to the students on the ground. You know, Bill, there's so many more questions I have for you. And I think a lot of the people watching the show today have a lot of additional questions. They can call the number that was shown on the screen, and we can have them call you there. Uh, they can contact any one of the clubs that you mentioned. It, if you go into the phone book, are there, is there anything they can look for that in the yellow pages or anything? And I've got to have a quick answer on that. The answer is yes. Look in the white pages, look on the Internet, and you'll find us here. All right. Bill, I really appreciate it. Bill Barron, Program Manager for the Sun City Center Amateur Radio. You've done a great job. I thank, thank you. you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Bill Hodges, and this is East Shore Today. You're unique, you're special, and you're great. Tell yourself so often because you are, you know. And we appreciate you being with us on East Shore today. Again, Bill, thanks for being with us. We'll hope that everybody will join Amateur Radio. Thanks. Appreciate it.